<laughs> so seriously, what other famous boys have you had sex with? The cast of Red, White, and Royal Blue crack up behind the scenes. Climate comp. Don't stop. Climate comp. Climate comp. Yard secure. Yard secure. Yard secure. A new blooper reel proves Nicholas Galitzine and Taylor Zakar Perez had all the fun on set. Working with Nick has been has been excellent. Uh, we we've gone through a lot. I think we're each other's biggest supports in the room, um, just because we both care so much. Based on the 2019 novel, the gay romantic comedy follows the adult children of a U.S. president and a British prince. Good morning. As the couple tries to hide their romance on the world stage. I find the notion of playing someone who is very trapped by circumstance and and their upbringing uh, to be very interesting to play as an actor. My NDA is bigger than yours, I want you to know that. Alex is kind of snubbed by Henry. So Alex has this, this kind of preconceived notion of him that he's a jerk and he wants nothing to do with him. Alex realizes that Henry's not this monster that he's thought he was the whole time. Oh, I love how <laughs> you both. The lead stars, not afraid to goof off on the job. The cake incident happens. After that, when Alec has the new damage control is when their relationship starts, I would say. Like, the good stuff. One, two, three, throw. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> but our favorite moments? Gotta be the love scene mishaps. Go <laughs> 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 to America. And watch Nicholas go off script, nailing this iconic Regina George quote. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. Yeah. Get in, bitches, we're going shopping. <laughs> like Mean Girls, Red, White, and Royal Blue, streaming now on Prime Video became a pop culture obsession. I love hanging out with this guy. The studio announcing the film launched to number one on the platform opening weekend, becoming one of its top three most watched rom-coms of all time. I think this film is unique in its subject matter. I think it feels very timely. I think it feels very current. I think people will feel very represented in it. I think their genre-wise is plenty to like for, for, for different audiences. Also, peeve at this badge of honor, certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. I think movies that, that are able to blend real, raw humanity, um, whilst at the same time feeling kind of whimsical and romantic are just so watchable and I hope we have done that. Safe to say, the movie's epic splashes all thanks to the cast who clearly had as much fun on set as audiences did at home. Remember that time we found wild marijuana growing? <laughs> yes. Out on the White House lawn. Yes. No, I'm definitely not doing karaoke. Yard secure. Yard secure. Yard secure. Yeah. Uh, that bad? 